Welcome to the European House Borer video, an educational video aimed at increasing EHB awareness and managing the threat currently being posed to Australia, primarily Western Australia. European House Borer, also called EHB, is a destructive pest of dry softwood timber, including pine, fir and spruce. Since 2004, EHB infestations in Western Australia have mainly been found in the dead parts of live pine trees and manufactured pine wood materials. However, in early 2009, a significant EHB infestation was found in the structural timbers of a Perth home. The European house borer presents a unique challenge to Australia. If left unchecked, EHB can cause major structural damage to untreated pine wood roof structures and can impact on industry. With this in mind, all Western Australians must play a greater role in ongoing surveillance and control of this serious pest. This video offers strategies to achieve this goal. What is EHB? European house borer is a beetle. Adult EHB beetles are brownish black to black with a slightly flattened appearance and have antennae about half as long as their body. Females are usually the size of a 20 cent piece and males are generally smaller. The beetles may have distinctive white patches on their back. On the top surface of the first body segment, behind the head, are two raised, black, shiny knobs like eyes. The damage is done by EHB larvae that hatch from eggs and tunnel through timber or wood. The eggs are laid in cracks, holes and joints in dead pine trees, dead branches or other dead parts of living pine trees and untreated pine timber. Signs of infestation. It can be difficult to detect EHB as larvae can bore inside wood for many years without any external evidence. It is only when the adult beetle emerges from the wood that oval-shaped holes, known as exit holes, are formed. Despite the difficulty of detection, some signs may be seen. Exit holes are oval-shaped, about 5 mm in length, and run in line with the grain. A mixture of fine powdery particles of wood dust and droppings, known as frass, can sometimes be found close to where beetles have emerged. Blister-like swellings under the surface may be evident when boring larvae has eaten through tunnels and packed them with frass. Soft clicking sounds may be heard as the borer eats through the timber. Tunnels or galleries created by the larvae can be seen if the timber has been planed, sawn or split. These tunnels can affect the structural integrity of the wood. Galleries rarely break through the timber surface and are therefore seldom detected. EHB beetles only emerge, fly and mate between September and May, known as the flight season. Remember, EHB does not infest hardwoods and will only infest dead, dry or seasoned pine wood like spruce and firs. Community Strategies According to a Building Commission of Western Australia's directive in 2009, new homes or renovations undertaken in EHB-affected areas must use materials that are not susceptible to EHB. Homeowners should make sure their builders are complying with this directive and request the use of treated pine wood or other non-susceptible materials. In homes already built with untreated pine timbers, damage can be avoided through early detection with regular inspections by EHB accredited pest controllers. Training for pest controllers has been updated in 2011 to improve detection capacity and in the future to increase the number of inspectors available. There are also other strategies the community can use to prevent infestation and to stop the spread of EHB. Members of the public should not collect pine wood materials from verge side collections or building sites or firewood from pine plantations. Any unwanted pine wood should be disposed of through local government waste disposal services or at local government refuse facilities. Ensure that pine wood you want to keep is treated or suitably stored to prevent exposure to EHB. 
Pine wood exposed to the environment in EHB affected areas can lead to subsequent infestation of your home. Regularly inspect any pine trees on your property and clear away dead branches. Education and awareness and the future. As the EHB response program transitions from eradication to containment in 2011, there will be an increased risk of EHB spread to non-infested areas. Information on the management tools available will play an important role on reducing this risk. Advice will be made available through exhibitions and displays, road signs, print materials, the EHB website, advertising, briefings and personal contact with EHB response team members. As a first step, any suspected fines should be reported to the EHB hotline on 1800 084 881. You can also visit the EHB website to learn about EHB and potential signs of infestation and the management strategies available.